everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well and doing good i'm just wrapping myself up in my blanket because i'm really cold <laughs> if you can't already tell by the title of the video i'm back with another spring haul today i just couldn't resist some of the bits that i had found on boohoo recently i was scrolling through their instagram and i was like there are so many bits on here which are so me so i picked a few bits up and i thought i would show you guys it's quite a small haul like i didn't pick up too much it didn't go crazy um but I thought I would show you some of their new in spring stuff. This is all from their new in range, so everything should be in stock. I know that some of the bits that I had originally wanted were out of stock because I think it's sold really well. Um, but fingers crossed, all of the bits that I show you will be in stock for you to check out if you wish to do so. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we're just going to jump straight into the video. As always, this will be a try on haul so you can see what they look like on me. For reference, um, I'm normally a size 6 or sometimes size 8, depends like where I shop. Um, so I always think it's nice to like show you guys what it's like on so you can get a proper feel for the garments. So anyway, without further ado, we should get straight on into the video and I'm going to show you what I picked up. Also, before we get started, I just want to show you my sweatshirt. I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but this is from my... So my friend Rachel, she has her own brand called Virgo 7. Um, it's a really, really lovely... Um, like I don't know what you would call it it's obviously a fashion brand but they create like slogan t-shirts slogan sweatshirts and this is from her international women's day collection uh which pre had the pre-launch in March on international women's day and I think it's being re-released um like permanently at the end of April so I will leave her um website linked below and also a link to this jumper because I love this jumper and I have literally lived in it and I just think it's really nice to like support small businesses so if that's your sort of thing as well I will leave Rachel's details down below um and you can check that out as well if you wish so we're gonna get straight on into the boohoo haul like I said there's only a few bits but I thought it was like a good all-round taster of like the spring bits that they've got in at the moment um so I'm just gonna go in straight on top and show you the bits I've got. I have already had a sneak peek um, at some of the bits when they arrived because I have no self control and I was like, well, I just need to have a look. The first item I feel is going to be really hard to show you guys. And when I lift it up, it might look a bit like um, like your grandma's curtains kind of vibe, but I promise you, it's actually really nice. So it's this really lovely. It said black on the website, but I'm kind of getting like a navy. I think it looks more navy. Uh, white and navy print dress. Very floaty. It kind of gives me like major 70s vibes. And I really liked it because it's like cinched in at the waist. I don't really know how to explain it. Or hold it up and show you guys. The try and clip will be next to me and it will show it better. Um, but yeah, I just like that it was cinched in at the waist. Because I sometimes find that with dresses that aren't cinched in at the waist, I sometimes look like I'm wearing a bin bag um, so I thought this was like really good to have like a little fitted uh, like waist section I just thought it was really nice and then of course it goes out like a little skater dress at the bottom it is teed it's got these lovely ruffles going down the front and it does just do does it do up at the front yeah it's got like a little bow at the front which does up um, let me get my phone so I can tell you how much this all was so that you can get an idea for present nothing was too expensive like I think they may have had a sale on at the time um, but I swear Boohoo always do sales to be honest um, so how much was this so this was £18 and I'm really sorry if you can hear sirens I live on the main road um, so yeah this was £18 and I picked it up in a size 8 they actually didn't have this in stock in a size 6 and I'd gone to get it they did it in like a red colour so the print was red instead of or like more pink instead of um, black but they didn't have that in my size I think they only had it in maybe like a 4 and like a 14 or something so two ends of the spectrum um, but yeah I just picked this one up I really like it and I'm very excited to wear it I thought this would look really nice with my um, Doc Martens like my Sinclair boots Sinclair? is that what they're Sinclair? Sinclair boots the really chunky ones that I have um, I thought that would be quite a nice spring outfit a really good like transitional uh, piece basically and um, so yeah that is item number one item number two as if I didn't have enough loungewear. So item number two is just this. It has a hair on, lovely. Uh, it's just this, I think it's called like a cargo tracksuit. Cargo tracksuit or something similar. Cargo hooded tracksuit. Um, I love it. It's really, really nice and it's so soft on the inside. But it's basically just a plain white tracksuit with like cargo pockets on the um, joggers and also on the hoodie. So like it's got little pockets on the side um i just really like the style of this i thought it was a bit bit nicer than like your average tracksuit it had a bit more something to it um 
but yeah not much to say about it it fits really lovely i think so i picked it up they only did like a small to medium and a medium to large one thing i would say is that like i say i'm normally a size six and in um like loungewear i would size down because so it's like not too oversized obviously i picked up the smallest size in this and i would say if you like your hoodies oversized size up because even the small to medium is like it's a bit big but it's not as oversized as I would have liked you'll see what I mean in the try on clip like it fits me perfectly but I would just rather have a bit more room in it um because that's what I like with loungewear <laughs> also it has a drawstring waist which we love and yeah just a really plain and simple tracksuit um to add to my lockdown collection basically um so the tracksuit was 2880 um and that was for like the whole set so like you know sometimes you get the set separately this was like the set together um was 2880 so i thought that was actually really reasonably priced but item number four now these aren't going to be everyone's cup of tea i I'm well aware that they aren't going to be everyone's cup of tea. I'm a sucker for, fl for a floral print. Also a sucker for anything that's like wide leg because I'm only, I think I'm like 5'4". I'm not quite sure. I thought I was 5'6". And then when I had to go to the hospital last year for an operation, they measured me and they said I was 5'4". So I don't know where those two inches have gone, but I'm not happy about it. Anyway, I'm not tall is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I always like wearing like wider leg trousers because... I think they make me look taller basically and they make my legs look longer so I picked up a pair of wide leg trousers in this very garish floral oh my god they've got pockets we love that um in this very garish floral print now again I can't really show you these properly without like trying them on um but I love these I have a wide another wide leg pair of trousers which are in like a polka dot print I got them at the end of last year in the new look sale for like five pounds or something and I have worn them so much um, so I know these are going to get a lot of wear I just love, they're so comfy as well like, you know, we all know that I'm not a jeans kind of gal, I would much rather wear something that's got a bit more movement to it um, and I'm not restrained so I picked up these um, I absolutely love them, like I say, they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea because they're very like, I think they're an acquired taste, <laughs> um, but yeah I really like them, I picked these up in a these were in a six I picked them up in a six purely because, I mean, I hope they go with my bum. Not that I've got much of a bum either. Um, but yeah, I picked these up in a size six purely for, like, the length reasons. I thought if I got a size eight, they would literally be, like, scraping along the floor. Um, so, yeah, that is item number four. And I just absolutely love them. I thought they would be perfect for spring as well. Like, chuck on a little denim jacket and a pair of Converse. And, like, you've got a really cute outfit, which is, takes which takes seconds to put together that was those were £12.96 um yeah again really cheap and I think they would go with a lot of like because they're mainly black like I get it's quite a bold print and obviously not everyone's taste but because they're black I think they will go with a lot of different things styling wise I think they'd be really easy to style so I picked those up and then on to the last thing I picked up it was just a top just a top um which i thought was really cute and it was kind of giving me like june 21st vibes don't know about you guys but i the only thing i can think about at the moment is like going for cocktails going for brunch when everything opens again soon um i'm literally keeping everything crossed that it happens um so when i saw this i thought this would look really nice i'll try it on with what i had in my head so i envisioned it with my like wide leg um white culotte trousers and I thought with a pair of heels this would be like the perfect girls brunch or girls like day drinking outfit um so it's just this really lovely dusty pink I'm not quite sure what sort of pink you would call that um it's not a baby pink it's kind of like a doll doll pink I mean can you see what I mean it's got like a little zip at the back and it's just this corset style top with puff sleeves now I think we have Richardson to thank for the corset trend which is currently everywhere like every single online retailer or fashion retailers in general has a whole oh my god my voice just broke <laughs> has a whole array of like corsets at the moment um they are everywhere and when i saw this i thought this was really cute i mean i don't know how flattering it's going to be on me because i feel like corsets look better when you've got a bit of something going on on the chest um, which I don't have but I thought I'd give it a go and I just thought it would look really cute for brunch really easy to style um, and also it's like the perfect colour for summer so 
I picked that up and I got that in a size so I picked it up in a size 8 um, and I'm glad I got it in a size 8 actually because the material isn't stretchy like it's a very non-stretchy material um, it's also got like underwired bits at the bust so I don't know maybe if you're feeling daring you could probably go braless um, because it's underwired uh, but yeah I, I would say size up in that purely because it doesn't give it doesn't give much um i could also like a zip up back and i would hate for people to buy it realize it's got no stretch and then not be able to zip it up so i picked i sized up in that um and that was 12 pounds and i'm sure i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it like i said i envisioned it with like my white colors or even like a pair of um what um shorts or something to like dress it down and sandals i thought would be really cute but yeah that is everything that i picked up from boohoo like i said it was quite a small haul but that is because i just didn't want to go mad basically um but yeah hope you guys have enjoyed the video do make sure that you go and follow me over on instagram to see me style these obviously there would have been like try on clips in this video but i always say go over to my instagram to see them better like better quality pictures and like what i would pair them with and different ways um so yeah make sure you're following me over there i'll leave my instagram linked below and also on the screen um and yeah i think that's everything i want to say if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a big thumbs up and i will see you all in my next one